the Aggies and the Wildcats have just had the coin toss and Tom will give us a report here in a moment on that apparently the Wildcats will receive to open the ball game and uh, Tom what exactly happened on that coin toss the toss and they deferred Kansas State said that they want to receive so A&M will kick off and they will defend the goal to your left kickoff team is out there they have deployed three deep as Kansas State back at about the five here is the kick and it's going to drift back and out of the end zone so how about that that was Richie Bean kicking off and he did kick it out of the end zone well, Kansas State against AM last year, the returning players, Figures caught five for 50, Morera caught five for 32, Dennis caught three for 23. They're leading for coming into the game today. Morera and Nelson both have caught 21 balls. Leading rusher Clayton has carried 85 times, 382 yards. Fisher's call uh, carried a total this season of 44 times, 280 yards. And they are at the line of scrimmage, and this one is about to have its first play from scrimmage. They'll open up with Allen Everidge at quarterback, and it's play action. He rolls right, being chased by Harrington. He's got him in his grasp, but he gets rid of the ball as he is releasing, and it goes to the sideline, and it is incomplete. Harrington, boy, closed on him and caught him running him all the way to that sideline, Dave. Harrington, 13 tackles coming into the game today. Is a sophomore one letter out of Houston St. Pius. 18 career games, this being his 19th. And a shotgun this time for Everidge, the running back to his right. A little movement in the defensive front, but they got back. It's a quarterback caper. And here is Everidge to the line of scrimmage. He'll get two to the 22-yard line, trying the left side. He kept jumping back and forth trying to find something there was nothing there and the tackle made by Justin Warren that'll be a third down coming up and they'll face about eight we got a fullback lined up to the left of Everidge he is 6'2 255 his name is Victor Mann there's the snap in the shotgun time to throw going over the middle and that will be incomplete Warren about the 45 yard line up defensively on that play against Norwood's able to knock the ball away nice play by Warren and for Warren that will be his third pass knockdown of the year. Tim Ryer is their punter 30 kicks a 40.4 average for the first time this year with Chambliss out for the year. It's going to be Chad Schrader returning punts. He's standing at the Aggie 41 punts away line of scrimmage with about the 22 Schrader coming up we'll have that one to hit and there is a marker down at the 40 yard line the Aggie 40 that thing hit took a bounce it hit somebody but I think it may have been the defensive player Schrader was, was trying to come up and play it on a hop flag goes down ball was recovered at the 40 by Yaman uh, figures of Kansas State I think it's going to be AM's ball the officials now are talking at the Aggie 40 on this side of the field in front of the Kansas State bench I think Dave this is going to be a fair catch interference call he didn't give him a chance to catch the football as Chad Trader was trying to go to it, he ran into figures, but let's see what the officials tell us. There are two flags down. Claire Geisman is the referee for this crew today. They are still talking, and now here is Geisman. Kick catch interference on the kicking team. 15 yards. First down. The Aggies will run their first play in Kansas State territory across the 50. The flags are on the turf at the Aggie 44. So they're going to march that one across the 40-yard line. So Schrader didn't have an opportunity to catch the ball. It cost Kansas State 15. Gives the Aggies great field position at the 41. Reggie McNeil will open at quarterback. First down and 10. The line of scrimmage, the 41. Hash right. Empty in the backfield. His snap. He throws. He's got a man. Threw a little bit behind him, and it's trapped off the turf by one of the Kansas State defensive players. That is Byron Garvin. He thought he had the interception. He did not. The official immediately came up to say didn't catch it. There is a flag down now at the Kansas State 22-yard line. Personal foul, number two, defense, 15 yards, automatic first down. Marcus Watts, a personal foul against Kansas State, 15 yards against the Wildcats. They came into the game today averaging 72.3 yards in penalties per game. And a and first down and 10, no 15.57 to go. We are playing in the first quarter. They punted on their first possession. And now A&M's got it. 
Jaborski Lane in the backfield. And Lane on a fake from McNeil. Here is McNeil keeping, and he's going to score. What a great fake by Reggie McNeil. Everybody thought Jaborski Lane had the ball on the slice play. Reggie pulled it out, went around left end, and into the end zone untouched. Reggie just scored his third touchdown of the season, and just like that at the 13.50 mark, Texas A&M has taken a 6-0 lead prior to Pagram's point after, and he's perfect this year, 28 out of 28. That get at the 13.50 mark. Couple of penalties after the uh, punt on the fair catch or the catch opportunity. Marked off 15. Here is the extra point. It is up and it's good. AM has a 7 0 lead over Kansas State here at Wagner Field in Manhattan with 13.50 remaining in the first. McNeil has scored in the Aggies' lead. And Dave, a couple of costly penalties on that uh, possession against Kansas State. Here's the kickoff. It's being again. This one's going to go into the end zone, and they start to take it out, and then they'll say, nope, Figures will take the knee, and again, they will start at their own 20-yard line. Well, Kansas State with the Aggies up 7 to nothing. Aggie defense out on the field. They call the play on the sideline. Same thing for Kansas State. Single setback as Everidge moves up under center. This will be their fourth play of the game. He just dropped the uh, snap and he's going to have to run with it. He's coming to this side of the field. Now he's going to throw under pressure and he has a man out of the 31 yard line who caught that on his knees. That is Davin Dennis, his eighth reception of the year. On the run to this sideline, found the man. Wasn't a real strong throw and on his knees. Dennis will make the catch. First down on the pass to Dennis. It's now first and 10 for Kansas State at their 32 yard line. 13 30 to go. First period. The Aggies lead seven nothing shotgun Kansas State two wides each side they'll go on the ground that's Clayton and he gets back to the line of scrimmage Tries a whole lot there maybe a half yard Archie McDaniel who has 44 tackles for the season and was given a warrior award not many of those handed out during coach uh, Franz tenure at a and and he got a warrior award after the Oklahoma State game and those are special awards McDaniel 6 2 230 a senior three letters out of Bay City they're back at the line and now Everidge steps up and says something to both sides of the line of scrimmage. I think he's changed the play. Two wides on the right. And now the snap drops back, sets his pocket. He's throwing. He's got a man. That's a catch at the Aggie 45 down immediately. That's Norwood, a sophomore sponsor from Kansas City, his fourth reception of the season. High in the air, brings it down. First and 10 for KSU at the Aggie 44-yard line. Well, and they had the, the tight end running the seam route. And a nice throw, threw it up well, uh, came down with the, the completion, and now K-State's in Aggie territory at the 44. 23 yards on that one, an eye formation. Big fullback again is Mann. They've got Clayton as the tailback. They start the option. There's Clayton on the pitch, turns the corner at the 40, cuts back to his right. He's to the 35-yard line, a yard shy of a first down. Tackle by Renewal Green of A&M. It'll be second down and one for the Wildcats at the Aggie 35-yard line when they come back to the line of scrimmage. Well, good execution of the option that time. They took away the uh, the quarterback, but uh, they were outnumbered at the uh, at the point of attack. Uh, Clayton able to, to move, make a little move to the inside and pick up nine. Clayton at 17 carries, 177 yards uh, against Florida International. He just got the hand off, stiff arm, sideline, flag down. He goes out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Into the sideline goes Clayton. Nice lead block there by his fullback, man. Archie McDaniel on the tackle, a flag down here on this side of the field. It's going to go against A&M. Face mask, number 18, defense, five yards. First down. First down and 10, 20 yard line. They'll come out and have a light eye to the left side. Flanker right, right ends on the right side of the formation. Play action. Nope, that's a handoff. That's Clayton. Good uh, ball handling there by Everidge, their quarterback, Clayton, to the 16 yard line. That's a pickup of four. It'll be second down and six for the Wildcats. McDaniel again and Bryce Reed, who's in the lineup for AM on that tackle. Games losing to OU 43 21, beat Kansas on this field 12 3, rung up by Texas Tech and Lubbock last weekend at 59 20. Flag down. They try in the middle. They go to about the 14 yard line. Clayton again. He's getting some calls here on this possession. Now they're just pounding the middle right now, and if the Aggie defensive linemen are right, this is going to go against K-State. 
Illegal shift. Number 89, offense. Player not set at the snap. Five yards, second down. They break the huddle. Way out to the right side will go Dennis. They've got a slot man here on this side of the formation. Okay, and that is Jordy Nelson. Single set back in the shotgun. Everidge forced out of the pocket, pointing downfield, looking. Now he throws a little skipper into the turf at about the eight-yard line. Way out in front of the intended receiver on that call, and that was Figures. Everidge unable to find a receiver open. He just threw it into the ground. It'll bring up a big third down play, third and 11 at the Aggie 21-yard line. They're 45.7% on their third downs for the season. Today, they are 0 out of 1. Everett now steps up to the line. He's calling an audible. He's got a trips formation to the right side. Norwood, the tight end, is on the left. Snap, drops back, sets his pocket, steps up, throws behind the intended receiver, and that will be definitely bring up fourth down and 11 at the Aggie 21-yard line for K-State's offense. And we'll have a field goal attempt. This one will be from the 28th. Be a 38-yard attempt, Dave. It's Jeff Snodgrass. He's 7 of 10 on his field goals. Here's Tom Turdeville. It's a slight angle to the right. Like you said, 38-yard attempt. Here's the snap of the hole. Here's the kick. It's going to be wide to the left. Wow. No good. Never really had a chance. Aggies hold. It's still 7 to nothing A&M. Well, that's a, a big break for the Aggies. Snodgrass has been good for K-State for a few years. And the Aggies will get the ball at the 21, and let's see what they can do with a 7 to nothing lead. Lane is the running back to the right off the right hip of Reggie McNeil. Got two in tight on both sides of the formation. Man goes in motion, sets up behind beside McNeil. They give it to Lane. Lane busts through. He's out to the 26-yard line. He got that one, slowed up at the line of scrimmage, and he gets out to the 26. That'll be a pickup of five, second and five coming up. 10-23 to go in the first. The Aggies lead Kansas State 7 to nothing. Uh, that time, hit at the line of scrimmage, and just brute force gets him five yards. 22 carries, 139 yards against Oklahoma State. 43 for 235 for the year. 5'11", 235, a freshman from Lufkin. There's the snap in the shotgun. There's... Took a uh, timeout, Dave. K-State took a timeout. They took a timeout as AM was snapping the ball. We have 9.56 to go here in the first quarter. Aggies, a one-play, 41-yard drive, and a 26-yard run by McNeil. Timeout was called as AM was snapping the ball, second down and five. So it's second and five in the shotgun. Here's the throw. This side ball is in and out of the hands of Howard Morrow across the 30 and the 31-yard line. Had it, and he couldn't hang on. And Brandon Archer was there for Kansas State to make sure that he did not keep that ball. So it's third down now and five. Well, and K-State is holding their opponents to 29%, so something's got to give here. The Aggies would need to convert. Need their 31. Line of scrimmage again. The Aggie, 26. Favors hash mark to the left side. Two wides this side, one to the other. Here's McNeil, a little soft toss out of the backfield. And it's a catch. And out that will be, I think, Courtney Lewis out across the 35 to the 38-yard line. Lewis out of the backfield will catch that one and goes into the sideline at the Aggie 38, pushed out of bounds by Marcus Watts. A uh, friend told me that he was going to use Courtney in certain situations. He's still not 100%, but he wants to use him in there when he's going to throw to the back out of the backfield. That, one, that time he picked up the first. Under center, McNeil, the tailback is Lewis, and they have just given on an end around coming to this side across the 40 to about the 41-yard line. Kerry Franks going left to right, a pickup of a couple. It'll be second down and eight. Left to right on the end around on the handoff to Franks after play action into the line on Courtney Lewis. Well, this looked like the, a play that was going to go a ways uh, it, when it first developed, and then K-State saw read it and reacted to it extremely well, and it only picks up two yards, but it looked much better than it was. Mobley, that was a, the uh, fullback, Alexander. Mobley is in a slot to the left, and out to his left he is Schrader. And the handoff goes to Lewis. Nice hold. He's out across the 46 left side. Good block there, and at the 46-yard line, shy of a first down by a couple. Stop made by Maurice Porter. Is their strong safety, number 10 on this team in tackles. And, uh, with some good yardage, they'll pick up about five and bring up another third down. Third down and a couple for Texas A&M. Clock making its way to the nine-minute mark. Martellus Minutes a tight end on this side of the formation. 
Trader is a spiker left, and the handoff goes to Lane, and Lane, the left side. He's got midfield. He's got the 49-yard line on the Kansas State side of the 50. First down, Texas A&M. Maurice Mack will bring down the Mack truck that time, and Jaborski Lane got five on a first down. They needed three that time. They went to the running game, power off the right side, and this offensive line of Jaborski Lane we're able to pick it up and move into uh, Kansas State territory. Two out of two now on their third downs. They're taking Lewis out of the backfield and setting him as a flanker way to the left. Two wides each side in tight. Here's the snap. Here's McNeil. Throws. Schrader made a catch. He's at the 35-yard line. Caught it at about the 37. Took two, two steps and then tackled at the 35 by Marcus Watson. A first down on the pass to Schrader. And on that one, he got 12 yards. The Aggies are on a roll. They're down to the K-State 35-yard line, first and 10. Schrader now for the season has caught 15 passes, and he is up above 280 yards for the year. First down and 10 at the K-State 35-yard line. McNeil put Lewis in motion, and he just gave the ball to Lewis. They try the middle. It's down about the 32-yard line. Not a whole lot there. Minimal yardage of about three, so they'll face second down and seven. They say four on that, so second down and six. Time, 7.38, playing first quarter ball. The Aggies lead seven to nothing. Javorski Lane's back in the lineup. I, I, that's what I was going to say, Dave. Lewis left and Javorski Lane back in. The Aggies are going to take a timeout. Well, they came up to the line and called a timeout, and now we're going to get the uh, marker drop. Dead ball, illegal substitution, 12 players breaking the huddle. Offense, five-yard penalty, second down. Had an extra man out there, so the Aggies will be penalized five. That'll move the ball back across the uh, 35, back to the 36. Kerry Franks was trying to go to the left side, and Reggie then was trying to move him to the right. He might have been the 12th man. I'm not really sure. They didn't know where to put that 12th guy. <laughs> All right. Move it back across the 35 to the 36. Kansas State's into the field. Second down and 11. They've got to get it to the 25. And Javorski Lane tries the left side. They have stood him up at the 35. He got a yard out of that. It'll be third down and 10 for the Aggies at the KSU 35. Javorski Lane will leave the lineup. On a third down, and the Aggies now two out of two on their thirds. Mobley, Carter go to the left side. Here on the short side of the formation are Lewis, Schrader, and also Pierre Brown. Empty in the backfield. Snap, steps up at the 40. Now Reggie starting to ad lib, rolling right at the 30, at the 25 yard line, and out of bounds into this sideline at about the 25. That's awfully close for a first down, depending on the spot. Just got 10 on that and a little bit more, just enough to convert to a first down. So it's first and 10, the Aggies, at the KSU 25-yard line. Ash to the right, 6.22 to go. We're playing in the first quarter. Your Aggies lead the Wildcats 7 to nothing. That's one of the problems that playing man-to-man, in case they likes man-to-man, if you've got people covering downfield, Reggie, once he gets out there to stop him, he picks up the first. Martella Spinnett is a stand-up receiver here on the right side. Ags with Lane in the lineup, and it's a keeper after play action by McNeil. Going to keep at the 10, broke a tackle. He's inside the 10, goes down, ball on the turf, and was he They're saying he's down at the six-yard line. The ball came out, but they say he was down when he fumbled the ball, and the official spot will be at the Kansas State seven-yard line. So McNeil, 19 yards. First and goal, the Aggies, KSU 7, 6 7 to go in the first quarter. The Ags knocking on the door for a second time. It's 7 to nothing. AM looted. Tight end on the right side. McNeil the option. Cuts back to his left across the five to the four. He's in between the hash marks when he decides to cut that one down south toward that end zone and is tackled by Maurice Porter and about a three yard pickup. It'll be second and goal at the KSU four yard line. Steamer and a high tower on this side of the offensive line. Steamer at 311, high tower at 355. Come out the knife formation. Alexander will be the fullback. Jaworski Lane is the tailback. It's second and goal at the four. Give it to Lane. Lane stepping in uh, across the line down about the two. Kind of tiptoed that time and got it down to about the two yard line. Third down and goal, the Aggies at the Kansas State two. And yeah, they went unbalanced again, unbalanced to the left. That's the second time they've done that. Looks like uh, they're going to take a timeout here. Aggies and go want, discuss this. Aggies want a 
So it will be granted at the 455 mark, facing a third down and goal at the Kansas State two yard line. AM leading in this game. It is seven to nothing. Claire Geisman has said we can play again, and the Ags break the huddle. They're at the line of scrimmage. Cody Wallace over the ball, eye formation behind McNeil. Lane got it. Lane fighting his way into the end zone. Did he get in? No signal yet. Yes. Now there is. It's a touchdown. Chaborski Lane. He must have barely gotten in because it was the signal came very, very late. But uh, one of the offensive linemen signaled it before the official. <laughs> Chaborski Lane just kept turning and finally got across the goal line. And the Aggies will take a 13 to nothing lead. 4:49 left here in the first quarter. Well, Lane just scored again, and Dave, that is his seventh touchdown of the season. Check his numbers here in a moment. Five carries, 16 yards. Pagram about to try the extra point, which would make it 14 nothing. He's perfect. 29 of 29. He is now 30 out of 30, and AM leads 14 to nothing. We've got 449 remaining in the first quarter. The Aggies 14, and Kansas State nothing. We've had the kickoff into the end zone. Kansas State starting at their own 20, Dave. To this point, they've run 11 plays, 61 yards. The Aggies 15 plays, 110. In the shotgun, they snap, they throw. Here is a drop at about the 24-yard line. That's the tight end. Norwood can't hang on. It'll be second down and 10 coming up for the Wildcats at their own 20. Their quarterback came into the game today, 36 completions on 62 attempts, one interception and 474 yards in this game now he is two out of seven and 36 yards and a long of 24 there's second down and 10 at the KSU 20 yard line running back to his left as he sets up in the shotgun some pressure steps away from it here's a throw way out in front of the tight end again that's Norwood they're trying to get it to him and there's nothing there leading him way too far and that time it was Melvin Bullitt and Archie McDaniel dropping back to make sure he didn't catch that ball well, the fullback, Victor Mann, back into the lineup, and he will set up to the right of the quarterback, Everidge, to offer a little protection. They've got Morara out here to the left side. They've not thrown in his direction. Here's a throw. That'll be caught by Mann, the fullback, and Archie McDaniel will ride him into the turf at about the 28. Did not get a first down. Caught it at about the 25. Chris Harrington also applying some pressure that time, and they will not convert First period, the Aggies leading 14 to nothing. AM has run 15 plays, 110 yards. For the second time today, with Chambliss out for the rest of the season, Schrader back to return a punt. Tried to get the first one kicked to him, and there was fair catch interference. He's backing up. He is waiting for it. He makes the catch, and as soon as he does, he's brought down at the 31 yard line. Good tackle there downfield. Marcus Watts, a nice play for Watts. Martellus Bittett put in motion. McNeil starts the option. There's a little shovel pass forward. And the Ags will get about two out of that for the 34-yard line. And that'll be Franks to make that catch on that shovel pass. And he was hit as soon as he caught the ball by Blake Seiler. Seiler out of Goddard, Kansas, is their defensive left end. Now back to the line of scrimmage. Staying in at that right guard position will be Dominic Steamer. The senior two letters out of Temple was a red shirt back in 01. Been snapped. It's play action by McNeil. Got a man on this sideline. Throws Schrader. A catch across the 50 to the KSU 48. Brought down as soon as he caught the ball by Brian Baldwin. First and 10, the Aggies. Kansas State 48 yard line. Time 310 to go. First period. Aggies lead 14 to nothing. Schrader runs off the cornerback, and it's a timing pattern. He's got no chance of covering it. Reggie delivered it right on time. First down at the uh, KSU 48. Schrader 16 catches over two. I'm making 300 yards now for the season in the shotgun and the handoff will go to Jaborski Lane and he bulldogs his way across the 45 to the 43 yard line that's a pickup of about five by Lane it'll be second and five coming up on the clock now at 239 the Aggies operating in Kansas State territory again at about the 43 and a half Aggies doing a great job of mixing the run in the pass they just completed a, a nice pass on an out route to Chad Schrader this time they go back to uh, Jaworski Lane up the middle. 
Uh, K-State doesn't know what to anticipate next. Gary Franks goes in motion. They had double slot. Here's a throw. That's a catch. That's out across the 35, inside the 35 to the 32, and that's Daquan Mobley. He had a man wrapped around his way as he caught that Brian Baldwin and Mobley is able to look that right into the hands and then bring it down for a reception and the Aggies just got a first down. Mobley his first catch today goes for 12 yards. Here's a first down and 10 at the 32. The Aggies lead 14 nothing a minute and 51 seconds to go in the first and Reggie on play action steps into the line now he starts to way out to the left side and he'll go into the sideline across the 25 to the 23 not enough for a first down misses it by about a yard and a half second down and a yard with a clock stopping on the out-of-bounds run by McNeil at 141 to go in the first 14 to nothing the Aggies but a man in motion way out from the left side and it's an end around again and the Aggies at the 20 into the sideline and stopped at about the 20 yard line first down that'll be Franks left to right second time today pushed out of bounds by Sorrell Davis they got four yards on a first down on that carry minute 36 to go in the first period Martellus Bennett being reset here from right to left and now over to the left will go Hurry up. Gary Franks and we're running Time out of time I had to call a time we were running out of 25 second clock so a timeout will be called out on the field running out of huddle clock and it'll stop the clock a minute 36 to go here in the first period the Aggies 14 to nothing okay at the end of the spot A&M not taking a full timeout back on the field on first down and 10. It's a pitch going left after a fake into the line. Hit behind the line and now breaking the tackle will be Franks across the 20 to the 18-yard line. Probably should have been stopped behind the line, but able to bounce off the first man, Marcus Watts, before he steps out of bounds on his own at the 18-yard line. It'll be second down and eight. 129 to go in the first quarter. But Reggie was able to ball handle and get the pitch off and uh, Kerry Franks able to pick up a couple of yards on this play. It could have been much worse. Carter and Mobley over to the left side here on this side will be Pierre Brown and Schrader. Here's a throw. That's a catch inside the 15 at about the 11 yard line. Carter will make that reception, his first of the day. Not enough for a first down. It will miss by about a half a yard inside the 11, shy of the 10. So it's third down and less than a yard to go for the Aggies. They are four out of four on their third downs today. And once again, the blitz, Reggie read the blitz and got the, uh, got the quick slant to Jason Carter and his check on that blitz call. Tight end left, and Boone Stutz is flexed out there as well. Off the left hip of Martellus Bennett in the eye. Here is Lane, a hit behind the line. Will not convert on this third down. Drop back at the 13. Trying to get a little bit out to the left side. The block wasn't there, and coming through to make the stop will be Derek Marceau from Spring Valley, California. Tom, it'll be spotted on this field goal left uh, by Pagram at the 20. The angle back to the right, a 30-yard field goal attempt. It's on the far hash mark, like you said. A little bit of an angle to the right. Here's uh, Stutz with the snap. Here's the kick, and it's going to be a fake, Dave. It is the fake back to the 15 and out of bounds at inside the 15 at about the 16. Schrader picked it up, rolled right, was looking to throw. That wasn't available as he looked into the end zone. He had Quinlan Germany down there, never able to get rid of the ball, and they ran him into the sideline here at the 13-yard line. So Kansas State takes over on the fake field goal at their own 13. Time, one second to go in the first quarter, and AM leading 14 to nothing. It's a good time to try this. Uh, they only needed four yards for the first, but uh, K-State, a very well-coached team. They were ready for the fake. They had Quinlan Germany covered up, and they had uh, the run contained. All right, so K-State under center will go Everidge, a single setback, standing back on the five, and that man Clayton just got it. They're looking for the left side. They just ran into a bunch of ags there as he hits the 19-yard line, and we'll pick up from the, not the 14 out to the 19, about a five-yard pickup, and that is all of the first quarter. It comes to an end. We're going to the second. The ags lead here, 14 to nothing. All right, thanks a lot, Tom. It is a second down facing Kansas State at their yard line. They need close to the 24 for a first down. In the shotgun, Everidge will hand off to Clayton. He breaks through the line of scrimmage, and they're going to get a first down from Clayton out to the 25. So 14 nothings the score. The Aggies with the lead, and they'll move the sticks on that one. Make it first down and 10 at their own 25 for KSU. 
cloudy day, some light mist or light rain will fall throughout this game. The temperature will be in the mid-50s and not much wind. They're back at the line, and they'll have a shotgun. Everidge will take the snap, standing on his own 20 to 25 as the line of scrimmage drops back about four. Now five steps up. He's throwing deep, going over the middle, and he is just overthrew the intended receiver at about the 30-yard line. Danny Gore back there to defend that. Little bumping and uh, pushing as Dennis was the man back there were trying to get the ball to him, but it did not work. That may have been, uh, I think it was Figures. It Figures was Figures. the deep man, and it goes incomplete. Gore, a freshman redshirt from Port Arthur Memorial, has 18 tackles, number 10 in total tackles for the season for Texas A&M. A redshirt freshman in the shotgun again. Play action. Here's Everidge. He will be dropped on a sack by Justin. That's the Warren. It is Justin Warren with the sack back inside the 20. Knocked him down. And the spot will be at the 18-yard line. A loss all the way back to the 18. Third down and about 17 coming up. Going to be the third sack of the season for Warren. So now a third down. And today on their thirds, they are all out of three. They have to get it all the way out to their 35. There's the snap. Dancing around under pressure, throwing deep again. The Ags have a Pell back there, and a Pell intercepts it. And he is tackled at the 31-yard line. Interception for Jackson Appel. Boy, he was playing center field on that one and just got his second interception of the season. Trying to get figures again on the post route. That's the second time they've tried that. And they just figured, let's throw it as far as we can. It'll be just as good as a punt. And Appel comes down with it. The Aggies will take over at their own 31. Dave, that will be his 10th career interception, his second of the season for Jackson Appel. Had the first against Oklahoma State, as you'll recall, at the two-yard line Big last Big one week. last week. Stopped, uh, stopped the Oklahoma State momentum, and the Aggies took it 98 yards to, to put that one away. 13-37 to go in the second. The Aggies leading 14-0. First down and 10 at their 31-yard line. The middle is tried here by Jaworski Lane, and maybe a yard. Boy, it's hard there. And it uh, meet him as he hit the hole was Baldwin and Eccles of the Wildcat defense. Second down and about a... Uh, Wildcats have not had a 100-yard rusher against them all year. Lane off the left hip of McNeil in the shotgun. There's right, a we moved. There was movement, and they stopped the play. We had an open side Yimmy. here to the left. I think Am it was Yemi. Amalola. Here's Larry Geisman. Offense, five yards, second down. It'll be second down and 13. To across the 30 to the Aggie 28. They need a little bit more than their 41 for a first down. And they are quickly back to the line of scrimmage. All the receivers, there's four of them, up tight against the line of scrimmage against the offensive lineman. Empty in the backfield for McNeil. Under pressure, got away from the first man, steps away from him, throwing deep over the middle. That is Martellus Bennett. There's got to be a flag a on that. There is three ran, of them. Ran right over him as Bennett was looking back to make the catch. That'll be a defensive pass interference call against Brian Baldwin. And he does the right thing there because if he doesn't, Bennett's going to catch that thing, and they're going to have the ball across the 30-yard line in uh, KSU territory. Well, this is what pass Reggie does for you. Defense number three, 15 yards, automatic first down. This is what Reggie does for you. You had three on three here. You had uh, Baldwin, number three, against Martellus Bennett, number three. He's running deep. <laughs> Reggie avoids the sack. They had man-to-man -man coverage. I'm sure that the speed of Martellus Bennett surprised Baldwin, but Reggie moves outside. He locates Bennett. He hangs it up, and Baldwin didn't have a chance. He had to tackle him, or this is a touchdown. Goes to the 42 on the penalty. That's the A&M side of the 50. Time, 12:34, second quarter. The Aggies lead Kansas State 14 to nothing. Have a few notes here that I'll pass along in a moment. Reggie in the shotgun. We'll put Carter in motion going right to left. Steps back, throws out to about the 45-yard line, and then Carter retreats. And as he does, he goes back to about the line of scrimmage. Caught it at the 45, then retreated, trying to get away from the defensive pressure and dropped at the line of scrimmage. That was Matt Butler, so no gain. Second down, same 10 for Texas A&M. Ags will keep... Alexander in the backfield to the left of McNeil on the second down and 10. There's a flag down. Here's McNeil stepping up. He throws, and that is in and out of the hands of a diving Schrader across the 35 at the 32. Goes incomplete. And they had a free play. They're offsides by K-State. They had a free play, and I thought Chad would come up with this when he was diving. He'll normally catch this ball. It was not on the ground, but... Uh, 
It'll be a five-yard penalty for offside against KSU. Offside, defense number 92, five yards, second down. What about that 98-yarder last week? I just handed that information. That might be first quarter stats. I, I'm, and also, it could be on plays. Here is a handoff, and they tried the uh, middle on that one. That was a second down and five at the 47-yard line. And they got out to about the 49. And that was Chris Alexander with that dive play that time on the second and five. He'll pick up about one, bring up a third and about three and a half. All right. The Aggies now on their third downs go four out of five, all in the first quarter. 11-11 to go. Second quarter ball. Trying to convert. McNeil by himself in the backfield. Drops back to the 41, steps up. Now he's decided to run with the ball. Looking for a corner block, steps by one man. He just got across the 45. He's all the way to the Kansas State 41-yard line. Now Pierre Brown doing a good job at the corner. He saw that uh, Reggie was going to try to pick it up. He was able to pick up a block. Just enough for Reggie to sneak through and pick up the first down in uh, Kansas State territory. They're down to the 41-yard line. First down and 10, the Kansas State 41-yard line. 10.48 to go here in the first half. a and 14, Kansas State nothing. High tower over on the right tackle position. The guard to uh, his left is Corey Clark now. Here is the handoff, and they dance in the backfield. Coming this side is Lewis across the 40, flag down. I think it's going to go against AM. He goes to the 39 yard line, a two yard pickup. Aggies are going to be flagged here as they try to sprint out left side. Now, that's the difference uh, that you get when you put Courtney Lewis back there. He's able to, to he's a, a lot quicker than Javorski Lane, able to bounce it outside. He would have picked up three or four, but I think this was coming back like you Holding said, Dave. Defense, I'm sorry, offense number five, <laughs> ten yard penalty, first down. And they face a first down and 20. And we've got 10-18 to go here in the first half. I formation, tight end left. Play action by McNeil. Drops all the way back to the 40. Throws sideline way over the head and out of bounds trying to get it to Schrader. So it's incomplete defensively that time. Baldwin, Schrader ball to catch that one so they go back huddle up now they break the huddle by sending Mobley and Schrader way out to the right side the open side of the formation you have an eye formation and here is some backside pressure McNeil rolling away from it he's throwing deep again he's way over the head of Schrader inside the 20 at about the 15 no chance good coverage that time by Kyle Williams of uh, Kansas State. Reggie was 76 of 142, throwing the ball into the game today for 1,317 yards. Third down and 20. Been snapped. He was in the shotgun. Standing back at his own 40. A lot of pressure. Now he's going deep again. He's going goal line. And they are in the end zone. And they will intercept it. Will Kansas State as a touchback by Byron Garvin, which will be his first interception of the season. They will bring that one out to the 20-yard line. That will be the fifth interception of the season thrown by Reggie McNeil. As we come back, Clayton got a handoff as they resume play on a first down and 10 from their own 20-yard line, Kansas State. The Aggies leading 14 to nothing, 9.38 to go in the second quarter. Clayton got a yard to the 21 play uh, Johnny Jolly on the bottom but Justin Warren fought off the block and uh, was able to uh, to help with that tackle for a short gain less second than one nine. bring up second and nine Fred Bryant and Jason Jack are in the lineup Johnny Jolly's there Michael Bennett's the defensive end over on the right side the linebackers are McDaniel and Warren in the shotgun average throws there's a man out there by himself and as he catches the ball he is diving to the turf makes the reception across the 25 to the 26 yard line Chris Harrington back in the lineup. He replaces Michael Bennett on the defensive right side. Linebackers stay the same. Carpenter's out there right now for Texas A&M. Also in the lineup will be Dixon at a cornerback position. The pressure up the middle. They'll throw, and that is... Was that a catch? It will be a catch by Clayton at the 27-yard line. Got a yard. He caught the ball. He was... More or less on his knees and almost on his stomach, and then he got up and tried to run with it. He thought he was in a different <laughs> league. <laughs> no, nobody touched him, but you don't have to. So they'll punt the ball at the 8.03 mark. Once more, Schrader drops back as the return man standing at the Aggie 25-yard line. 
High snap, pressure up the middle, it's been blocked. The Aggies, it's going to be into the end zone and a touchback Texas A&M. All right, a safety Texas A&M. It's been recovered in the end zone. That by one of their special team guys and about a yard deep in a safety. That's the best thing that could happen to Kansas State. This should have been a touchdown. You had a couple of Aggies trying to pick it up instead of falling on it. So instead of getting a, either a seven by, by recovering it in the end zone or getting the ball on the two yard line, K-State gives up two points and that's a break for Kansas State, but a big play for the Aggies as well. And a kickoff return formation here back uh, inside the 15 at about the 14 yard line. The deep man on that far side will be Schrader. And here on the near side will be Kerry Franks. A safety on a block punt. Looked like for a moment that AM might recover that for a touchdown. Here's the kick. Franks backing up. Finally stops as he gets his momentum to stop at the one. Here comes his return to the 15 to the 20. Broke a tackle into the sideline he goes. That ought to be a late hit against Kansas it State. Will it will be into the Aggie bench. Way across that white area where the teams are not allowed to stand. And he hit him as they got across the white area and knocked him down from the backside. So a 15-yard late hit against Kansas State. Dead ball. Personal foul on the kicking team. 15-yard penalty, number 82. That'll be their third 15-yarder of the day, Dave. And now the penalty will move the ball on the hit out of bounds on Franks on that kickoff following the safety moves the ball out to the 43 yard line the Aggies lead 16 to nothing 740 remaining in the first half at the line of scrimmage play action McNeil now he is running for his life stamping around all the way back at the 30 gonna throw and he's throwing deep and he throws it into the Aggies sideline incomplete second down 10 McNeil now throwing the ball to 7 out of 12 with one interception and 65 yards and a long gain to this point of 18. Second and 10 at their own 43, the Aggies leading 16 to nothing. In the shotgun, throw, far sideline, behind the line of scrimmage, and out of the 45, two on the reception by Lewis out of the backfield. Maurice Mack will make the tackle. Open up that time. Uh, I think the quarterback draw is, uh, is wide open uh, if they get that similar defense. Let's see if uh, the Aggies have seen that. Lewis to the left of McNeil. Two wides each side, open side to the left. As the snap drops back, and he will try to throw a screen here to the left side to Lewis out of the backfield yeah, over his head incomplete let him too much no chance and that was well covered to begin with they punted three times today for an average of 24 three Aggies have not punted the ball today here's Bradley 22 kicks a 45 eight average along of 80 and the punt is away will hit and I'll take a big old bounce picked up on the bounce by Marrera up the middle breaks through to the 40 to the 45 yard line Harrington on his back at the 46 Marrera on the return out to the Kansas State 46 yard line a hole up the middle be a 35 yard punt 21 yard return got here about one o'clock this morning with a second group but proud to be here to support the Aggies today. All right, Dave, back to you. All right, and they'll keep it on the ground, spreading out right side. That is the backup tailback. There will be Fisher, and Fisher will get about three out to about the 48-yard line. Well, a couple there, so it'll be second down and eight. Ray Ray Jones, the senior from Dallas Skyline, who had four tackles against Colorado, made that stop. That was a draw play, and Ray Jones read it extremely well, and he attacked the ball carrier and stopped it for a very short game. Marrero way out to the left side. The man to his right in the slot will be Nelson. Got to stand up tight end on this side of the field. Pump once. Here he is. Everett's throwing. He's got a man wide open, and that will be a touchdown. He caught it at the 20, and that was Figures, who was wide open. Somebody dropped coverage for the Aggies. Ray Jones, Dave, he just let him run right by him. I don't know what the confusion was, but Ray Jones was on him, and there's nobody else back there. 52 yards. And uh, K-State has gone out of the swinging gate, and they're going to go for two. Figures, yeah, they will. They'll go for two to try to offset that safety. Everidge with a running back to his left in the shotgun. And that running back is going to be the man that will catch it. He was wide open at the two-yard line. Nobody close to him, and that's Fisher. They are good on the two. 5.47 to go until halftime, and just like that, the Aggies 16 to nothing lead. AM 16, Kansas State 8. 
5.47 remaining in the second. Pierre Brown will be one return. All right, we'll have a kickoff, and then Tom will have a chance to recap that drive. We're looking at a 16-8 Aggie lead with 5.47 to go here in the first half. And here is the kickoff. Let's see if they have a chance to return this. Ags will. Franks at about the 2, back to the 5, the 10, the 15. Seam, sideline, 30. Into the sideline, across the 30, and out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. So good start here for AM following that uh, drive. And they run 30, I think, at 24 plays, 135 yards. The Aggies, 35 plays, 181 yards. AM and I formation straight to the motion man. Here's the pitch to the corner. The Aggies trying to turn it with Lewis stops. Now starts up again. He's across the 35, goes to about the 39-yard line. Good carry there as he stopped and let the initial pursuit go right by him into the sideline. And then he develops that for about seven. Seven yards. It'll be second down and three coming up. AM at their own 39 and a half yard line. Second down play. The Axe with a shotgun open side to the formation. He is here at the bottom to the left. Motion. Franks in the shotgun throw off the fingertips of Franks and it's incomplete. The Aggies are five out of eight on thirds. Kansas State all out of five. Here's third down and three at their 39 and a half yard line. Empty in the backfield. A throw and that is a catch and that's Carter he'll hang on to the 49 on the Aggie side of the 50 that converts a third into a first Ian Campbell around him as they go down on a pile at the A&M 49 yard line along with Maurice Mark well oh, Dave six out of nine now on their third downs first down and ten the Aggies at their 49 under center McNeil just gave it to Lane stumbles as he hits the line of scrimmage and gets two to the KSU 49 yard line time still plenty of time here and the Aggies have it second down scoreboard says seven it's close to the 48 yard line so second and seven A&M 16 Kansas State eight in the backfield in the shotgun Alexander moved from left to right Alexander on a play action from McNeil under some pressure sacked back across the 45 back at the Aggie 41 yard line that was down underneath. That was Derek Marceau. It looked like he was going to get away, but there was a defensive lineman we couldn't see. Derek Marceau, who grabbed Reggie around the ankles, and he had nowhere to go. The Aggies third down and 19. They've got to get into the KSU 41. 320 to go until halftime. The Aggies 16. Kansas State 8. Three wides to the left, two to the right. Slot man to the left is Schrader. Empty in the backfield for McNeil. Will take the snap at the Aggie. 36-yard line, drops back to the 34, steps up, he throws, and it's high over the head of Carter. He had coverage that time from Maurice Porter. No chance to bring it down. Carter now talking to one of the officials as he goes to the Aggie sideline. Now the first punt today for Bradley with 34 yards. They got a 21-yard return on a hopper by Marrera. He's returned 14 into the game today for an average of 11.4, and he's got a touchdown return. This one goes off to the right side and into the sideline. Let's see where they're going to mark it. Coming up the sidelines, now at the 30, stops right there at the 30-yard line. Aggies will come back out on defense. Kansas State will have the ball 70 yards away. First down and 10 at their own 30. Time, 2.54. Second quarter, the Aggies 16. Kansas K-State has two timeouts left here in the half, Dave. And they are at the line of scrimmage, which again will be the 30, the top hash mark. And snap, average. They're looking for a screen here on this side. That will be caught at the 33 and spilled at the 34-yard line. Devin Gregg will make the tackle. The ball was caught that time by Paris Fisher, who had four receptions coming into the game. Screen right, got four yards. Second down and a little more than five coming up for the Wildcats. Come quickly back to the line, and Everidge this time, Dave, will move under center. Offset in the backfield. Now he turns and says something, does Everidge to both sides of the formation. Now talking, and he's going to have to call a timeout. He could not get set. He still had five seconds to go on the 25-second clock. He just couldn't get set. And he will call a timeout. Stopping the clock, 2.13 to go until intermission. The Aggies leading K-State 16-8 here in Manhattan today. Okay, how much time to go? Okay.
as we come back they drop back after going under center with Everidge in front of this sideline and they threw a high way over the head and into the sideline to Morera as Everidge is rolling right Andy Gore was down there but that was not a catchable ball so that was a second down play and now third down Dave in that same five we've stopped the clock 207 until halftime your Aggies lead Kansas State 16 to 8. Good pressure that time by Michael Bennett uh, and he's been replaced I think uh, Chris Harrington back in there on that side. Jordy Nelson and Marrera both go to the left. Figures here on the right. The fullback man to the right of Everidge. As his snap, he's under a lot of pressure. Chased out of the pocket. Rolling left. He's got a chance to run for a first down. He's across the 40. Breaks the tackle. He's at the 45, 47-yard line. One, two, three. Aggies led that time by Henry Smith and Jackson. Appel will finally make the tackle. That might have been Red Bryant. First down out to the 48. Now they're 52 yards away. Time now becoming critical for Kansas State. A minute 49 to go. It's 16 to 8. It's the Aggies. First down and 10. KSU at their own 48 yard line. In the shotgun. Quick throw. Sideline dropped. In and out of the hands of Figures. Incomplete. Should have had it. Here's second down and 10. Stopping the clock. 140 to go until the intermission. Man, the fullback stays in to the left for protection for Everidge. Slot left, short side of the formation. Time to throw. This sideline wide open again at the 40 and into the sideline at the, well, stepped out at the 41-yard line. Caught there by Figures. That's a first down. Stop the clock, 134 until halftime. Two wides to the left side, a stand-up tied in. One man here on the right, and that will be Morera. Here's a throw, turning, catching the ball, up, dropping it in and out of the hands of Figures. That would have been a first down. He had beaten the coverage that time of Carpenter, and at least a first down, and perhaps more on that one. Incomplete. That'll bring up a second down that same 10, 130 until halftime. Well, this ball was thrown long before Figures turned around to take a look at it. Hit him right in the, in the number, and, uh, and he dropped it. Ags looking to the sideline to get what defense they're in. Meanwhile, Kansas State back to the line of scrimmage on second down and 10. a and would like to get an interception. Here's Everidge under some pressure. Now he is going to be sacked back at the 49-yard line. McDaniel was there. Johnny Jolly was there. All converging on Everidge, and that's a loss of eight. Back to the Aggie 49. It's third down coming up and 18. Clock rolling, 1-10 to go until halftime. The Aggie 16, Kansas State 8. They go without a huddle. Man is to the right of Everidge. Play action by Everidge. Stepping up, throwing sideline. It's a catch. That will be Marrera thrown into the sideline by Gore at the 43-yard line. They got about, oh, what, six on that one. So now it's fourth down and 13 for Kansas State at the Texas A&M 43-yard line. Coming up now, we'll stand at the, still walking up here, he's going to stand at the 18-yard line. He wants to, if it's a fake, he wants to be able to get up and, uh, and help with the coverage. Three for 24 today. And they're going to try to pooch this one inside the 20-yard line. That thing is going to go into the end zone. That wasn't even close. That was about four or five yards deep. Now, a and will see eight seconds roll off the clock. There'll be 47 seconds to go on a 43-yard punt. And almost half of that will be erased on the touchback. Out to the 20, it will come. With less than a minute left uh, in position at uh, just outside their territory. So he punts it away, and, uh, and the Aggies, I'm sure, will just run out the clock here. But let's see. Alexander will be the fullback. The tailback is Jaborski Lane. Jaborski the handoff. Jaborski with a couple of people with him as he goes across the 25 to the 27-yard line. They had him by the neck of the jersey, and Kyle Williams will drag him down. 36 seconds to go. The Aggies lead 16 to 8. We approach the intermission. The crowd here will be thrilled today by the Fighting Texas Aggie band that's made the trip. Play from the sideline. Gary Frank starts to leave, and now he stops and... And they snapped the ball again. The 25-second clock was not rolled, and we're down to nine seconds. And we're going to take it to the intermission. Hey, Ags, looking for a job in College Station, Universal Computer Systems, offering full-time and part-time opportunities. For more information, call 595-2609. Again, for UCS, 595-2609. That area code is 979. We're looking at an Aggie lead at the intermission, 16-8 over Kansas State. 
Up next is the Ford Best Halftime Show. This is the Texas Aggie Sports Network. Pierre Brown will be one return man. The other is Kerry Franks, both standing at about the one yard line. So the Aggies will get the first touch second half. Here's the kickoff. And perhaps a chance to return this one to the sideline. And he stepped out of bounds. Franks trying to come up and tiptoe the sidelines. Caught it on this sideline. Was trying to stay away from the sideline. And he made contact. And he is out of bounds at the two and a half yard line. Just about 98 yards away. Well, Davis said they can work magic like that two weeks in a row. Did it last week. An eye formation. Alexander, the fullback. Jaworski Lane is the tailback. Lane will get it. And he'll lower his head. No, he stays on his feet. Starting to give a man a hit there as he hit the 10-yard line. And Dave, he just got that out to the 14. That'll get you away from the goal line in a hurry. That'll be a first down pickup on a carry that goes 12 yards. Confusion on the AM side of the ball, and they will take a timeout. Ags take a timeout, trying to get set. First down, 10, the Aggies at their own 14. Lane again, spins, got away from a man, falls forward to the 20 yard line. He'll get about six on that. Flag down at the end of the play. Late, late flag. Blair Geisman, our referee today. Dead ball, personal foul, number 60 defense. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. And have just moved it out to the 35 yard line. This started at the two and a half. That trips formation in tight to the offensive line is on the left side. And a handoff to Jaworski Lane, about a yard to the 36. Just a yard there. Second down, nine coming up. Jamie Hightower in the offensive line. He's here on this side to his right is Kurt Elder. Cody Wallace over the ball in a shotgun. McNeil waiting on the snap. Has it. Sets up. Forced out of the pocket. Rolling right. Still looking. Now he runs to the line of scrimmage and across the line. And he goes into the Aggie bench at the 39-yard line. A pickup of about three. So it'll be third down coming up for AM. At their 39, that's going to be six that they'll need. Empty in the backfield. McNeil waiting on the snap. Has it. Going to be throwing a wet football. Forced out of the pocket. Still looking. He's throwing. And that is a catch. That's Carter on the sideline. He goes out of bounds at the KSU 43-yard line. Across midfield to the 43. Watts on the stop. The Aggies convert an 18-yard pass to Carter. Four for 33 on receptions by Carter. Reggie now 10 out of 18. 94 yards. This again started at the Aggie two and a half yard line. On a first down, Lane, right side, broke the tackle at the line of scrimmage and fights now and down at the 35 yard line. He just got eight big ones. 12.40 to go in the third. The Aggies 16, Kansas State eight. a and now second down and a couple. Dave, here's one of those free plays. At the KSU 35, I formation. He'll give it to Lane. He slipped as he got the handoff. Caught back behind the line of scrimmage. He went to plant his foot, and I think we just saw evidence there of the moisture and the rain, and they're going to give him forward progress to the third. Pushed him all the way back near the 45-yard line, and now third down and four for the Aggies at the KSU 37 and a half. Need about the 33 for a first down. Alexander will stay in to block to the right of Reggie McNeil in the shotgun on third down. Motion here from Martellus Bennett. McNeil looking, steps up, throws. That's a catch. The Aggies will have a first down, and that is caught by the tight end, Joy Thomas, across the 30 to the 27-yard line. Convert again. Uh, that'll go 11 yards. Aggies 8 out of 12 on their thirds today. Reggie now 11 of 19, 104 yards. First down and 10 at the KSU 27-yard line. Jaworski Lane, the handoff, lowers his head, goes to the 25 as he hit the line. Got a couple, and the official just took a spill back here in the backfield, the defensive backfield. They had Courtney Lewis in there for Jaworski Lane. You might see something outside here. Second down and about eight near the 25-yard line. Play action by McNeil. Some pressure. He's going to throw the ball. He's got a man. He's going to throw that out of bounds. Way out of bounds they go down around the 
one. With Schrader down there. Third down and a long eight. Near the 25. They need the 17 yard line to the Aggies. KSU territory, empty in the backfield. Reggie throws, Reggie high over the head of Schrader at about the 15-yard line. All right, Todd Pegram, this would be his 52nd career field goal. If he can make it, it's a long one, fourth and three. Last time they tried to fake, don't look for that here. Here's the snap, the kick, it's got the direction, does it have the distance? No, it's short, no good. 10-26 left to play in the third quarter. Our score stays A&M 16, Kansas State 8. Bank and Street Kansas State's got the ball first down and 10 at their 25 with 10 26 to go on the third and the Aggies leading 16 to 8. Everidge the quarterback for Kansas State had gone up under center now he backs away and gives them a shotgun look drops back on the snap throws that's a catch that is Nelson and he will get it out and fumble the ball was he down they're saying no he was not he has fumbled so here is AM now on a turnover the second of the day against Kansas State they get it do the Aggies first down and 10 the Wildcat 33 yard line and Jaborski Lane will hit the line of scrimmage and get a yard to the 32. 10-10 to go in the third. The Aggies leading 16-8. Turnover against Kansas State. Gives the ball back to AM after the Aggies have driven from their own two and a half down to the 25-yard line, missing a field goal. And then a fumble on a pass to Jordy Nelson will give the ball back to AM. Second down and nine, Dave. Out to the right side for the Ags will go Howard Morrow. Morrow does not have a catch today. In the shotgun, McNeil stays cool, throws it behind and at the feet of Pierre Brown across the 25. No chance at all. That may have slipped because of the moisture. Well, Dave, here we go. Third down and nine for the Ags. AM, 8 of 13 on their thirds. They've got the ball at the Kansas State 32 yard line shotgun a little trips formation broken by putting Carter in motion he goes to the backfield and sets up there here's Reggie looking still dancing throws and that is a catch that'll be close to a first close. down caught by Mobley as he's brought down as he hits the 25 goes to about the 23 and a half yard line shy by a half yard fourth down coming up 25 second clock now has not been rolled just now they roll that so the right there for the Aggies. Aggies are going to go jumbo here. They're going to try to run it, pick this up. Half a yard, fourth and a half a yard. All right. A&M 0 for 1 on fourth downs today. In an eye formation. McNeil turns and says something to both sides of the line. Hands off to Jaborski. Big hole. He's at the 10-yard line. Inside the 10 to the 8. First and goal, the Aggies. Time, 826. The Aggies lead 16 to 8. Here's the first and goal. It goes to Lane. Dancing in the backfield. Maybe the 7. He got about a half a yard. They were there. They were waiting on that one. Second down and goal. AM. Full house backfield. Two tight ends. Reggie. Puts a man in motion. That was Martellus Bennett. Handoff goes to Courtney Lewis. Spins, gets to the five. Got two. All right, here are the Aggies. Little help for Wallace as he leaves and goes to the sideline. And Chris Yoder is in the lineup now as the center. In the shotgun, he snaps the ball. Here's McNeil, a throw. And that's Schrader, that's a touchdown, about three yards deep, and he caught it in a crowd. What a nice job by Reggie. He located Schrader on the crossing route. He was just above, uh, just outside the goal, or just inside the, uh, the end zone. About a seven-yard completion, and he just drilled it in. And Schrader coming up with a big catch. <laughs> Tough catch there. Oh, that he, ball had some mustard on he it. He threw that Woo. thing. Looked like a Nolan Ryan fastball. And Schrader has made it 22 to eight at the 702 mark. And now the extra point by Pagram. Schrader will be the man to put it down. It's up and it is good. And now the Aggies 23 to eight, 702 remaining. Got a fumble at the KSU 33 and turns that into points. AM kicks off when we come back. 702 third quarter, 23 to eight, your Aggies. 
over the Wildcats. All right, the Aggies lead at 23 to 8. I'll tell you what, we will uh, run down the uh, scoring play after the kickoff. Looks like they're about ready to go, Dave. All right, and here we go. Richie Bean will kick off. They're going to pooch it. One of the big guys will come up. That's a full pick, and he'll take it and may have fumbled the ball. It's cost the 40 yard line, and I think Kansas State got it back. They're going to spot him at the 42 yard line. Ayosaba is the man that came up and took that pooch kick and then fumbled it, but Kansas State got it back at the 41 pitch, left corner. That's Clayton. Lower as his head goes across the 45 to the 47 yard line. Nice run there by Thomas Clayton. Justin Warren came up to meet him. Six yard pickup. And that will bring up a second down and four for the Wildcats. Justin Warren delivered a great lick when he finally caught up to him, but a nice gain, six yards. High formation, Clayton the handoff, try the middle, broke the initial tackle and gets to the 50, not enough for a first down, a yard shy. It's third down and one. Jackson Appel to meet him there, three-yard pickup. Nine carries and 45 yards. Third down and a yard. And Clayton has a first down, and he has a little bit more than that up to about the Aggie 46 yard line. So Clayton on the carry converts a third to a first. That means they are now two out of eight on their third downs. Wildcats marching right back. They've got it first down and 10 at the Aggie 46 yard line. Under center again. Everidge rolls left. Punch now looks uh, pumps right there. Now looks back here to the right. Man wide open. And if Morera caught it at the 23, he stepped out of bounds across the 15 at about the 13 and a half yard line. He continued to run on into the end zone, but Melvin Bullet helped him step out, but not before he picks up 33 to the Aggie 13 and a half. Let's see if the Aggies can get a turnover here. Nelson way out to the left side. Morera here to the right. Quick snap. And here is Everidge on the keeper. Everidge will get back to the 11-yard line. Dropped all the way back outside the 15 and then advanced it down to the 11. A pickup of about two yards, maybe a little bit more than that. So it'll be second and seven. Everidge throwing the ball today. Dave is 11 of 22 running the ball. He's five carries, just two yards. He's been sacked one time. Drops back and he's saying something and calling an audible as they came to the line of scrimmage. This is a second down play. He moves Clayton to his right in the shotgun. Had trouble handling the snap. Throws. That is a catch. That's Nelson at about the five-yard line. That's a five. He caught it. Pushed back out of bounds at the 10. Devin Gregg, but at the five. And now it's third down and a yard for Kansas State at the Aggie five. And they, boy, they're coming right back here. 23 to 8. Texas AM leading Kansas State. 410 to go in the third. Kansas State will have a third down and one at the Aggie five yard line when we return. Kansas State called that timeout facing third down and one at the Aggie five yard line. The Aggies lead. Kansas State just snapped the ball. Clayton gets the handoff, bounces off one man, bounces off another. And I don't know that he, he didn't get it, Dave. In. He, he needed get the it. four. He may have gotten just across. They're going to give him the five. That said, that's all he did. This man over here likely is going to get the football. So now it's fourth down and less than a yard. They're going for it. They have not tried a fourth down today. The Aggies are one out of two. They have huddled up. And now AM setting the defense. I formation. And a tight end left. Everidge snaps it. Here's a pitch to Clayton. But he didn't get him. They dropped him behind the line back at the seven yard line. Pitch left. Chris Out. Harrington waiting for him. Had the, he had the containment. He took him down with a, for a loss. The Aggies hold him out. Dropped him, at the, dropped him at the seven yard line. The Aggies take over on downs. First down and 10 at their own seven. 3.24 to go in the third quarter. The Aggies leading Kansas State 23 to eight. A&M just fumbled the ball on the snap and McNeil fell on it at about the six. They come to this side of the formation. He does. Martellus Bennett and Carter to the right. Alexander is the blocking bug. Here is McNeil throwing. They're going deep, and that's almost intercepted out at the 40-yard line. That was a second down and 11. Now they're going to bring up a third down. That same 11, stopping the clock. 2:39. Way too long there. 
And it goes incomplete. Aggies are 9 of 15 on third downs. This is a big one. Third down and 11. They need their own 17 and a half for a first down. Reggie's got it on the shotgun snap. Steps up. Now he throws, and that's incomplete. Would not have been enough for a first down. Down on his side, trying to bring the ball in. Was Mobley across the 15 and about the 16, and AM now will punt the ball. Bradley has punted the ball twice, a 31-yard average. He will take the snap about a yard and a half shy of the inline in the end zone. Stutz has snapped it. Here's the kick. Another off shank. the side of his foot. And it's gone into the Aggie bench. And where did it go out of? They're still walking. They're still walking. They stop at the 27-yard line. Oh, wow. 20-yard punt. And now Kansas State. Aggies lead 23 to 8. 227 to go in the third quarter. Average in the shotgun. Throws right side. Caught dropped. Oh, in and out of the hands. Of Biggers. Here's second down and 10. Ball at the Aggie 27. Hash left in the shotgun. Average. There's pressure up the middle. They've got it. And he has been oh, sacked all the way back at the 44-yard line. First man, Bryce Reed, loss of 17. It's third down, and it's next week, third and 27. They've got to get it all the way to the Aggie 17 and a half yard line. On their thirds today, they are two out of nine. Everidge in the shotgun, drops back across the 50, screen, left side, drop. drop. They say it's incomplete. David Ross was going to fall on it just in case. And man, alive, are they having trouble hanging on to the ball today. That time it was Clayton, the running back. Four kicks, 29 today for Ryer of Kansas State. He'll take the snap at his own 42. Line of scrimmage is the 44-yard line. Good snap, chest high. Kick, Schrader starting to call for a fair catch and uh, decides instead to let it go by. They almost killed that thing at the one yard line. They'll give a touch back to the Aggies and bring it out to the 20 where a and will have it first down and 10 time a minute 22. Third quarter, the Aggies 23 and Kansas State eight. Goodness gracious and now in the backfield. High snap, controlled. Got the flags. Controlled on a high snap to McNeil. That almost went over his head. Looks like a false start. Legal procedure against Texas A&M. Line of scrimmage, the 20, so that'll back them up. It will be first down now in 15. Dead ball, false start. 54 offense, five yards, first down. All right, so penalty against the Aggies. Courtney Lewis is the running back. Reggie's moving him from his right side to his left. Carter goes and sets up as a halfback. Like they're going to run the option. Reggie stops and then retreats, and he dropped back at the nine. They were running option left side. He stopped and retreated. Then good coverage. Zach Dials caught him. And a loss all the way back at the nine-yard line. It's a minute five remaining of the third quarter. The Aggies 23, Kansas State 8. It's going to be second down and 21. Open sides to the right. Running back is Alexander to Reggie's left. There's the throw. It's a catch by Schrader, and boy, they are hitting him, and they knock him down at the 21-yard line. So, got about half of it, Dave. Well, he got what you asked for, Dave. <laughs> Why didn't you ask nine. for the whole thing? <laughs> <I> should have. <laughs> and now the Aggies, another third down, third down and nine. We're going to let time run out here in the uh, third quarter and go to the fourth. That's all of the third. A&M 23, Kansas State 8. And the fourth quarter is coming up. And AM will have it on a third down and nine at their own 21 yard line. Third down and nine. AM nine of 16 on their third downs today. By the way, Cody Wallace is back in the lineup at that center position. He has returned to start the fourth quarter. Tied in right side. Joy Thomas, Martellus Minnow on the other side. Third down. There's the snap. Pressure up the middle. Here is McNeil throwing. That's a catch by Carter. He's on the sideline, 30 35. Oh, he, oh, he stepped, stepped out. out of bounds at the 28 yard line. The official trailing the play said he stepped on the sideline at the 28 yard line. Well, in the spotlight right now for the Aggies will be Justin Brantley. He has kicked three times today for a 27 7 average. The line of scrimmage is the Aggie 28. Morera, their fine return man, standing at their 25. Waiting on the snaps, got it, it's a good one. 
Putts away, not a bad kick. It'll go side up in the wind. It's drifting away from Marrera back to the 20-yard line, and he is going to get away for a moment and now dropped as they got him at the 19, maintained his balance by using his hand and got back to the 21. Everidge with a single setback, and that is Fisher, the number two tailback behind him. And uh, here he is, Everidge on play action, throwing to this sideline, Nelson at the 30, at the 35-40, and they just bumped him into the sideline. That will be Devin Gregg at the 40-yard line. Boy, wide open, and down the sideline he went. So from the 21 out to about the 40-yard line, that'll be a 19-yard pickup and a first down, Kansas State. Nelson's caught three for 33 today. They've got three wides to the right. Average, plenty of time. Now he's throwing, and there'll be nobody there. Second down, 10. And to the right side goes Dennis. Two here on the left. That'll be Nelson and Marrera. Fullback is to the left of Everidge. He'll take the snap at his own 35. There's a throw way high. Nobody has a chance. Dennis was the intended receiver. Greg was over there, and Everidge threw that into the AM bench. The last two passes have not been good ones. That means he is now 13 out of 28 throwing the football. Okay, on their third downs, they are 2 of 10, Kansas State. Third down, 10 at the Aggie, or at the KSU 41 yard line. They need the Aggie 49. It's been snapped. There's pressure. It's Red Bryant chasing Everidge. Now he's coming to this sideline. He goes into the sideline. He's going to throw that away. Putting today. Five for 32 for Ryer. Good snap. Punts away. Schrader now backing up at the 19. Comes back out of bounds. He goes at the 25-yard line. Kansas State trying to get a clip on one of the Ags, but no flag, and Schrader's return from the 19 back to the 25. The punt goes 39. We got a flag now? I don't see one, Dave. Oh, back, back up here at the line of scrimmage, yes. Ooh. It's back at the line of scrimmage. Surely he didn't call a clip from that, that direction. <laughs> well, that I was. hope not. And here we go. Well, he started to turn the mic on. Now he turns and walks away. It should be AM's ball. Holding 86 on the kicking team. 10 yard penalty. Post scrimmage kick, first down. First down a committee meeting will leave it at the 10. First down and 10, Texas AM. Alexander is the fullback. Javorski Lane is the tailback. Reggie gives it to Javorski Lane. Slipped as he hit the line of scrimmage. He will go down at the 10-yard line. Putting not there. It'll be second down and 10 coming up. Reggie in a shotgun. Javorski Lane a little bit behind him. To his left. Now he moves him to the right. And he fakes to Javorski. Keeps and he dropped back at the 8-yard line. Lost two. Empty in the backfield, two wides on the right, three on the left. Third down and 12, they need the 20 to the Aggies, their own 20-yard line. Reggie will take the snap at the three. Line of scrimmage, the eight. Drops back to the end zone. Backside pressure. Fumble the ball. Who got it? They call it an incomplete pass, I believe, Dave. Well, maybe not. They've called it fourth down, so the Aggies must have gotten it. Let's see where they spot the ball. Reggie McNeil fell on the fumble. He was hit as he was about to throw. He was not in a throwing motion, I don't believe. And they're going to see if he was throwing it. They're going to review this one, Dave. A review coming up with the replay. After available. review, the ruling on the field of a fumble is correct. The ball will be spotted. Clock will be wound. All right, you just heard it. Play stands. Line of scrimmage, the two. Randley will take the snap a yard shy of the inline. The Aggies lead 23 to 8, 12 19 to go in the game. Morera, their return man, is at the Aggie 47 yard line. AM trying to set its protection here for Brantley. Boone Stutz, flag. Off the sideline, a illegal procedure against Texas A&M. That'll be a, about a half-yard mark off. False start. 23 offense. Half the distance to the goal. Fourth down. Moved it back a little bit. Not going to make much difference, Dave. Well, actually down there 
in a punt situation, a yard could make a difference. It shortens the amount of, of distance that Brantley's got to work in. They may try that where he rolls to the right and punts it in motion. Clock rolling will hit 12 minutes on this play. Good snap. They're coming. He got just it. got it blocked. Touchdown. Touchdown. Nelson came up with a football. Block recovered by Nelson. Two block punts today, one by each squad. And now the point after. Snodgrass kicks up. Kicks good. 23 to 15. Texas AM. 11.54 to go in the fourth quarter. Well, Bradley just had one blocked, recovered by Nelson in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. Both teams now with a block today. The Aggies got a safety. They get a touchdown. It's 23 to 15. It's AM. Here's a pooch kick. Javorski Lane at the 25 on the catch to the 30, carrying some folks with him. He's got five, six, seven, eight more. Oh, my, they are just going up the field. He looked like a, a big old truck hauling the trailer. First down and 10, the Aggies at their 38. AM leads 23-15, 11.46 to go in the game. Reggie on the keeper, cuts back left, broke a tackle. He's near midfield. He got a first down on a carry there for about 11 yards. First and 10, the Aggies at their 49 tackle. Matt Butler, Kansas State. Cody Wallace is back at the center. High formation behind McNeil. Play action by Reggie. Steps up. He's throwing deep. He's got Declan Mobley. They're playing push and shove on that sideline. It's out of bounds across the 10 here on this side of the field. Alexander to the left of Reggie. In the shotgun. Slot right and left. Reggie, quick throw. He's got Schrader, and they threw over. Oh, oh, overthrowing. Man alive, he was wide open and just... Way over his head and into the sideline. He catch, get that ball down a little bit. He might score. Aggies, fifth on third downs today. Nine of eight with a year coming in. Over 36 points. Third down, 10, 49 yard line. McNeil waiting on the snap. Is it? Throws high over the head of Mobley. Bradley's last effort was blocked in the end zone and recovered for a touchdown. His kicks today, 5 for 27. Outside pressure. Nice high punt. This one's headed toward the end zone, and it gets into the end zone. They'll bring it out for the 20. That's a 51-yard kick by Bradley. 10.53 to go in this game. a and 23, Kansas State 15. Average today, throwing the footballs, 13 of 29, 190 yards. Play action by Everidge, rolling to the left, under some pressure. He will throw, and that's a catch. That's Nelson across the 35 and into the Kansas State sideline at the 39-yard line. First down throw. Everidge to Nelson, Kansas State. Spot at the 40. First down and 10. Everidge two steps back, throws, and that is a catch at midfield. Close for a first down. I think they just gave him a first down. It is a first down catch. That goes to Devin Dennis. Well, two throws, two first downs. That goes to midfield. First and 10, Kansas State. Stayed inbounds, 10-30 remaining in this game. 23-15, to 15, it's Texas A&M. Kansas State with the football. They've changed running backs. Fisher's in there now. Two wide left they start coming in this direction there's backside pressure and there was no trail man and the average got up and now running for his life as he was hit got away from that hit and then dropped back at the 42 yard line clock rolls now from the 955 mark 23 to 15 second down Dave just told you 17 they have 12 first downs today they've now compiled in 51 plays 247 yards of total offense Everett steps up and says something quickly to his center. In the shotgun. Drops back to the 35. Throws. That's the fullback. You've got Devin Gregg with him, and he'll throw him down at the line of scrimmage, and that was all. All right, third down, 16. Now 9.05 to go, and they're taking their own good time about getting out of the huddle. Now they break it. They come to the line of scrimmage. 
They got nine on their 25 second clock. Line of scrimmage, their own 44. They need the Aggie 40. Three wides left, tight end right. Average. Ag's coming at him. They throw, and it is not enough for a first down. Caught on, the, on his knees by Dennis at the Aggie 42 yard line. It will be fourth down and two for Kansas State. They are now a total of two out of 12 on their third downs today. 0 for 1 on their fourth downs and before they run the play they will use a timeout they had two remaining now they have one to go time 8 21 to go in the game the aggies lead 23 to 15. fourth down and two for the wildcats of kansas state when play resumes here in manhattan this is texas aggie football and they have called the play. They come to the line. This is the second time they have faced a fourth down today. Not successful converting a fourth down earlier in this half. And the Aggies up on that line of scrimmage defensively. They'll be under center with Everidge. Clayton is his tailback. Has his snap. He's going to throw the ball, and he throws, and that's a catch, and this might be a touchdown. It will be. Carpenter gambled for a knockdown, didn't get it, and the ball goes to Marrera, and that goes 42 yards. He caught it at about the 35-yard line. Oh, my. Looked like Carpenter was going to come underneath and intercept this ball, but he just misses it. Uh, good concentration. And there's nobody left. Man-to-man -man coverage everywhere. Carpenter just missed the ball. Now we'll see a two-point conversion by K-State to see if they can tie this game up. 42-yard pass. Let's see what they do on the two. And that was Morera. And Morera will get his second touchdown of the season. They can tie it up. As they go for two, went for two earlier and made it. But a man in motion, that's the starting fullback. Everidge starts to run the option. He is drugged down. That goes nowhere. That's Johnny Jolly dragging him down by the neck of that jersey at the five-yard line. So the start option left side didn't make it. Aggies, a two-point lead. 23 to 21, 8 12 to go in the game. Kansas State. And they're about to kick off Kansas State. And here it goes. Can be returned from the 16-yard line to the 20, and that is Kerry Franks to the 24 is where they'll spot him, hidden and driven backwards. They have a two-point pass for a two-point conversion, and then they try to run a moment ago after scoring for two, didn't get it. Jolly stopped that, first down 10. Javorski Lane is on his feet across the 25 to the 28-yard line. He just got four. It's second down and six coming up. Matt Butler finally able to bring him down, but not before he gets four there. This is eating up time. They got 7.50 remaining in the game. They have one timeout remaining. The Aggies have two. The Ags with a two-point lead at 23 to 21, a safety reported by a and the difference in this one. Two wides in tight right side. The same on the left. Lane moved right to left. Pierre Brown put in motion. Stops in the handoff. Now it's a caper and it's Reggie spinning across the 30 to the 32 yard line. Fake to Jaworski Lane and he comes up shy of a first down by a couple at the 32. That time it was Marcus Watts. AM breaks the huddle. Third down and a couple at their own 32. The 34 are better. A first down. Tight end right. 
Motion coming back to this side of the field. Reggie, the option, starts. He has a first down at the 40. He's at midfield. Man chasing him, 40. He's rugged down from the backside as he gets across the 40. He's all the way down to the KSU 36-yard line. That'll be the official spot at the 36. First down and 10, 6.23 to go in the game. Aggies 23, K-State 21. Three wides right, handoff lane, lowers his head, goes across the 35 to about the 31-yard line. Close for five on that one will be Javorski. Lane. Well, Reggie will be the first 100-yard rusher against this K-State defense all year. See if we can't get a couple of them here before it's all said and done, but the most important things of victory. Second down and six coming up. KSU 32 option. Coming back this side, Javorski takes the pitch at the 30. He's at the 25. He's going to be close for a first down if he is at the 25-yard line. He got it. Move the sticks. First down and 10 now at the KSU 25-yard line. Schrader way out there is a lonesome end to the left side. Stutzy is in the backfield, lined up off the tight end. Martellus Bennett. Here is Javorski Lane pushing and using his blocking as he crosses the line of scrimmage and goes to about the 21-yard line. Full house backfield. Javon Mobley is in the backfield. An eye formation. Mobley now goes in motion right to left. Ags are going to run the option. Reggie's going to keep after faking the pitch. He's at the 15. He's at the 10. He's down the sideline. Out of bounds as he's Schrader. hit over there. And a, no, there was a man between Schrader and Reggie. And the man that hit him was Byron Garvin. And it looked like Schrader knocked him out of bounds. But Garvin did it. <laughs> I got to see this replay. Uh, is Chad bad at him or what? Is, he's at the two-yard line and out of bounds. First and goal for the Aggies. And for all the world, it really did look like Schrader knocked him out of bounds. And an eye formation with two tight ends and Carter here way out to the right side. Favors hash left. Give it to Lane. Right up the middle. Touchdown. He went untouched. That was all runs, Dave, in that drive. Not a single pass play. Aggie offensive line taking charge and moving it down the field. Reggie won a couple of big keepers on the option keep. And the Aggies uh, get that touchdown back. What a huge drive that was for AM. And now the extra point. Right now it is 29 to 21 with 4.18 to go. Schrader will spot it down on the snap from Stutz. It's up and it is good. The Aggies now lead 30 to 21. And the Aggies will kick off when we come back. This is the Texas Aggie Sports Network. All right, here's the kickoff by AM. It's going to go into the end zone. And they will take the knee back there and then bring it out to the 20 yard line. And now here we go. First down and 10. Kansas State at their 20. The Aggies with a nine point advantage. 418 remaining. Low snap. Controlled by Everidge. Reached down. Brought it back up. He's going to throw. That was a uh, somebody hit his arm or it got deflected and it goes incomplete on this side or it just flat out slipped out of his hand. As a Marrera turned into his favorite target and Danny Gore trailing Marrera but the ball well overthrown. Bring up second and 10. 10 at the 20 for Kansas State. That's their end of the field. Thanks, setting the defense. Gore is over here on this side. Devin Gregg's out on the field. He's matched up here against one of their receivers. That's Jordy Nelson. Here's average time to throw. Now he does. It goes, and it is almost intercepted by Jackson Appel out about the 45-yard line intended for Marrera. Incomplete. Third down, 10 coming up. He's in the shotgun. He's got three wides to this side and one to the other. Drops back. Well, they're closing on him. Now he throws over the middle. There's a Pell. He's got a chance. He got the interception at the 43-yard line. Aggies side of the 50. That's three on one for the Aggies. They're trying to get it to Nelson, and Jackson Appel gets it. Oh, we got a flag over here. It's going to be a 15-yarder against the bench, I believe. Flag here at the 45 on this side of the field in front of the Kansas State bench. This ball just thrown up for grabs. With three Aggies and one, one Wildcat, Appel comes down with the interception. Then we have a late flag on the bench, over, uh, by the bench over here on the Wildcat Dead side. ball foul after change of possession. Unsportsmanlike conduct, number two, 15 yards, first down. Hmm. That's his second 15-yarder today. He had a personal foul in the first quarter, Marcus Watts. 
minutes a tight end to the right lined up off his left hip as Boone Stutz in the backfield Javorski Lane got the handoff sprinting out left Saul got him around the ankles at the 40 yard line and that was number two that's Marcus Watts who has the two 15s today both of those unsportsmanlike one was unsportsmanlike one was a personal foul okay that will work it down to three minutes and 34 seconds. Next week at home, Iowa State. We'll announce the time on AggieAthletics.com sometime late tomorrow afternoon. Watch that, and you'll be there next Saturday. Iowa State won today. The Aggies got three minutes and 20 seconds to work off the clock to put this one under the W. Second down and eight at the 40. Reggie the option. Corner pitch. Javorski Lane. Into the sideline they go. Not a whole lot there. That'll stop the clock, by the way. Got about two. They're going to give him the 38-yard line. Yeah, that's third down and seven. That's inexperience on Javorski Lane's part. He's, he can't go out of bounds. He needs to fall down before he gets to that sideline. They needed to run this clock. Here we go. Third down, six. Option right side, McNeil, the pitch, Javorski Lane, they're all over that. He's down at the 40-yard line, dropped the ball, but it's going to roll away from him, but he's on his back, and that time Eccles and Butler all the way back at the 40, fourth down coming up. The clock now at 2.56, and a timeout call by Kansas State, and Dave, that is their last. Well, it, Justin Brantley would like to punt this one, either kill it inside the 10 or kick it out of bounds. He has punted six times today for 31 yards. Rayer, their punter, six times 33 yards. Not a good day either side. The snap from Boone Stutz is on its way. They're coming, and he got it away, but not by a whole lot. He's kicked it off here to the right side, and it goes into the end zone, so they'll bring it out to the 20. The time is 2.49. They have no timeouts remaining. Two wides here on this side, a stand-up tight end on the right. Everidge throws, and it is off the fingertips of Marrera at the 30 incomplete. 2.44 to go, second down and 10. Aggies lead 30 to 21. They've called the play. They're back to the line of scrimmage. Second down, 10 at their 20. Snapped it, throws it, and that's a it will not be enough for a first down. They'll give him forward progress at the 28-yard line. And the clock continues to run. Did not get out of bounds. Now they stopped him and then gave him forward progress at the 28. Third down and a couple. Ray Ray Jones, the man there Third to make sure that Devin Dennis went nowhere. And he didn't. Clock working from 217. Third down and about a yard. Rolls left, throws. And it is a catch at midfield. Nice catch. And that's Dennis at the 50. Now they roll the clock. It's down to 205. First down play. Average time now forced out of the pocket. McDaniel chasing him to this sideline. There's a throw, and that'll be off the fingertips. Guess who? Of figures. That's a four today that he has dropped. That went right through his hands. He was wide open at about the 22-yard line. Oh. Oh, and he sees his friends tonight. They don't need to ask him what kind of day he had. That would have been a 30-yard completion. Second down and 10 at the 50. Time, 155. That's another incomplete. That's at least four that figures has dropped. There's the snap. Plenty of time. And now they're closing on him. And he threw the ball. That goes to the fullback man. He's at the 35-30. Four is his head. He's all the way to the 25-yard line. Minute 44 to go. Man on a safety valve there from the average. The quarterback, he got it to the 24-yard line. They had an injured player and started to bring the training staff out, but he will stay in the lineup. They had stopped the clock momentarily. Got a minute 44. They've not rolled it yet. It's first down and 10. K-State at the Aggie 24-yard line. A&M leads 30 to 21. Clock starts now. It's a minute 40. Average again in the shotgun. Rolls right. He's back to the 32-yard line. Sidearms one to this sideline. And that will be a catch at the five-yard line by Marrera. 30 to 21, a minute 32 to go. First and goal, K-State, the Aggie five. Hash left, Nelson. And Marrera to the right, the fullback man stays in. Here on this side, they got Dennison, a stand-up tight end, Norwood. Everidge, Lofton one, they're going toward Nelson. And he is 
touchdown. Caught it. And out of the back of the end zone. Apparently made contact with the surface before he went out. Caught that one against Danny Gar. They might want to look at this one again. I'm going to look at it on the replay, but I don't think he got a foot down. I got to get a chance to see it now, Dave. He did not oh, get a foot my, down. Oh, my. They need to. They, they better really need this to review one. that one. Five yard gain on the play for a Royal Cup. They're going to review it. After review, the play catches inbounds, oh. result is a touchdown. Oh, wow. That'll make the score 30 to 27. We have a minute 27 left in the ball game. A big onside kick will. Yep, we'll have an onside kick moment. coming. All right, a minute 27 to go. Seven. Extra point. Up and good. And there will be an onside kick when we come back. It's good. It's 30 to 28. Minute 27 remaining in the game. They have no timeouts remaining. Tell you who they are, Chad Schrader, Kay Carpenter, Reggie, Stephen McGee, Javorski Lane. There's all sorts of ways that they try these onside kicks. I would like to say that I've seen most of them in 35 years, but you never know. Well, it looks like they're going to work on this side where you got Chad Schrader, Stephen McGee, Kate Carpenter, Reggie, and Jackson Appel. Five-yard pass to Nelson. Nelson also has a blocked punt recovery in the end zone for a touchdown today. And here they go. Here comes the onside kick. And the Aggies have it. Trader on a big hop caught it and then fell down at the KSU 47-yard line. Here are the Ags, and they're going to bunch up close to the line of scrimmage. Trader is way back there as a safety valve. Now Reggie will take the snap, drop back to the 50-yard line and take the knee. And the clock is working from a minute 15, a minute 14, a minute 13. The 25-second clock still has not rolled. They still haven't rolled. Now they do. So A&M can run the clock down. It's at 18, the game clock at 104. They're going to stand there and let that 25-second clock work down to a second and then snap the ball. 54 seconds left in the game. Reggie will continue to look at that thing. It's down to four. It's down to three. It's down to two. It's down to one. He snapped it. And now he takes the knee. Game clock, 45 seconds. And that time he backed up to the 48-yard line. By the way, McNeil taking some minus yardage here. will still have 100 yards rushing today, 119. Well, so when the Aggies snap this one, they'll have about uh, ten, less than 10 seconds on the clock. Going to win this one. They come back to the line now. The 25-second clock is down to 7, game clock at 16. It's down to 5, game clock 13. There's the snap. Takes the knee down to 8 seconds, and the ball game will come to an end, and the Aggies will win this one, and it was hard fought all the way, Dave Elmendorf. Well, there's no quit in this K-State team. They got some big breaks. Uh, the Aggies not being able to get the touchdown on the block punt. They get a safety. Then they block a and, and get the uh, the touchdown uh, but the Aggies coming up with the big plays when they had to and they get a, a well-earned 30 to 28 win over K-State well, how about that A&M now will go to five and two for the year they're three and one in the league K-State their first loss at home this year they are now one and three in the league and they will be four and three for the season 